Paris Paralympics performance. This year, India shined bright with a historic milestone at the 2024 Paris Paralympics, bringing home a record-breaking 29 medals. This is nearly five times the number of medals that has been won by Indian Olympics at the 2024 Paris Olympics. One among the shining stars of this achievement is Pranav Surma, who secured a silver medal in the men's club throw F51 event. Surma, hailing from Faridabad, has overcome enormous incredible challenges to have achieved this pinnacle of success. At the age of just 16, a devastating accident involving a cement shed left him with severe spinal cord injuries, impacting his functional movement. Yet, his determination and resilience have propelled him to garner global recognition. Before this Paralympic success, Surma also clinched a gold medal at the 2022 Asian Para Games, showcasing his exceptional talent and perseverance. We are thrilled to welcome uh, Pranav on our show. Pranav, welcome to us and very, very congratulations on your latest you achievement. And as the country is very proud to have uh, seen you performing so nicely and in fact many uh, congratulatory messages have been pouring in for you all across your social media as well we have been seeing and uh, i really congratulate you on your feet thank you so much i remember pranav that uh, you know last time we met at 2022 i remember how excited you were at that point of time and now that you have backed another medal for the country in this paris parade olympics how does it feel right now uh, it feels amazing because, uh, as you said, uh, this uh, last year I won the Asian Para Games gold medal and it was my debut in the Asian Games. And this time too, it was my debut in the Paralympics. And I believe the first time is a very special for anyone. So, winning the medal for the country in the very uh, first Paralympics that I participated in is a very special moment for me hmm. and um, I'm really happy and glad that uh, I could uh, dedicate this medal to my country India and uh, the athletes have shown an exceptional performance in the two, two, uh, 2024 Paris Paralympics and uh, in the coming time uh, you will be seeing some great talents coming here at the hmm. highest stage. Hmm. So the journey from 2022 to 2024 and right now the preparation that you have done by your grit and determination, how has that been? Uh, the main focus was always on the uh, right technique, right mm. exercises, right nutrition and most importantly the right recovery and rest. So uh, as an athlete we all make uh, mistakes in competition and uh, uh, the best way to improve on our performance is to learn from those mistakes. So that is what we have done. There mm. were a few competitions that uh, where we uh, didn't perform that well or there was some technical glitches. So we kept that in mind. We worked on that and uh, we tried that uh, when I participate in the Paralympics, we don't make the same mistakes mm. and uh, we are able to perform uh, at the highest performance peak that we have been working on. Hmm, certainly. And you have achieved this glory in your debut games with a throw of 34.59 meters in the F1 category. If we talk about the Asian Para Games and the Paris Olympics and how differently do you think you, ha you had to prepare? Was this any different from the time and was there also a difference in the mindset? Because you have also grown as an Olympic, as an uh, as an Olymp Olympian, and you have also understood your own techniques as well. Do you feel there was a difference in the terms of technique and mindset this time? Uh, yes, def definitely. There's a huge difference because uh, the Olympics or the Paralympics are a bigger stage than the Asian Games and the Asian Para Games. So when you compete at the Paralympics at a global level, hmm. you have more competitors. In the Asian Games, there are Asian level countries and in the Paralympics, there's the whole world. Hmm. So the competition level is um, something else here. It's like uh, you have to compete against the best in the world. And uh, if you don't stand out, then 
there is no chance you can win here so there is a lot of uh, preparation and changes that we have been making in our uh, training hmm. we have been uh, working uh, more on the gym sessions and different exercises and different working on different throw techniques hmm. and uh, adapting to different changes in the climatic conditions we we went for international training hmm. and uh, adapted ourselves when the climate changes so we 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 have been working on a lot of things for the past uh, 8 to 10 months and i'm really happy that uh, things turned out well for us pranab also uh, you have actually secured gold and silver and all these shining medals at your debut wherever the games have been talked about do you think uh, there was a natural emotion of being nervous because it is debut and because it is such a huge platform there is so much pressure already persistent were you nervous at that point of time and if you were how did you at that last moment conquer it to be honest yes i was very nervous and uh, from what i have seen every athlete who competes at this highest level or is like achieving gr- uh, great things in life every athlete is nervous they have anxiety and they are tensed about the competition uh, no matter the achievements they have made the past but coming at this mm. highest level of competition in the paralympics i think all the athletes are really nervous and uh, i was too mm. so i thought that uh, nervousness or like anxiety that i have right now for the competition might hamper my performance mm. uh, might uh, it it might bring my physical ability down hmm. so i try to calm my mind i did meditation and uh, i did some breathing techniques and i told myself that we have worked really hard for this moment hmm. and i need my mind and my body to be completely calm and in completely sync with each other so that when uh, i get the chance to make the throw my mind and my body are completely synced so that i can make the right techniques and i can show the best level of performance that we have been working on hmm. so i think uh, it is uh, but obvious that uh, to be nervous but uh, i think it should motivate you uh, to uplift your performance rather than uh, being demotivated by it hmm. well said uh, this is something about preparing your mind and you know uh, having that strategy but if there is a message that you would like to give to people who often get stuck in such situations and who are tackling these challenges and right now as you have started your dialogue with me saying that there is going to be a pool of talent that's come that's going to come our way as far as india's uh, india's club for the olympics new talent is concerned what is that one message that you feel should be given and can be given to those who are looking up to you and learning a lot from all the olympics uh, performances uh i believe that adversities or ups and downs in lives are just a part of life and uh, no matter the challenges that you face in your life you need to overcome that if you need uh, if you want to make it big in life hmm. so that has always been my, my mindset i have been through a lot in life but uh, each and every time i try to overcome those situations and bring the best out of me hmm. so uh, talking about uh, para sports i started playing sports seeing someone else and i think that now we have one medal at such a big platform so there will be budding athletes that uh, the next generation that will be uh, you know started mm. start play uh, getting more interested in these sports and start playing uh, seeing us so i think um, we are uh, we are uh, I, i'm really overwhelmed when i see new athletes that tell me that we started playing because of you or uh, hmm. i meet people who say that we didn't give up on life because of you hmm. you inspire us you motivate us so that really makes me emotional at that time hmm. and uh, yes like i said uh, in the coming time like in the next 4 years uh, there will be more medals in the paralympics and uh, india has immense amount of talent 
and the support from the government has been great now so in the coming time they will be more great athletes from india and it will definitely come in the top 10 in the coming hmm. time of course and pranav there is of course one important thing that i want to ask from you is that whenever the father uh, son duo is spotted anywhere your father mr sanjeev surma and there are oftenly a conversation uh, over the similarities in the looks of both of you which i believe uh, your father has also spoken earlier that he has actually groomed or wanted to groom you in such a way that now he is also having the similar looks uh, of that of yours so what is the story behind it what is the story that you both of you actually don and uh, have the same looks uh there there is actually no story i think behind it uh i don't know maybe it's it's it came natural for us and uh it's true that we spend a lot of time together he he has been my backbone throughout my journey hmm. since the very first day he has helped me in all my training exercises and uh, managing my day to day life i think uh, when i start my day i need him and when i go to bed then i need i need him throughout the day so i think maybe spending uh, so much time together has uh, you know motivated both of us to look a little similar and uh, i think the world is liking that yes of course there is very similar contrast being seen there all right one another important question that i have for you is that when you spoke to prime minister narendra modi and when he called to congratulate you on the day you clinched the medal how was that conversation ah uh, every athlete i think uh, look forward to this like when they win the olympic or the paralympic medal uh, they know that the prime minister will be calling them and talking to them and it is definitely a very very special moment that the prime minister of your country is mm. calling you to congratulate you so i was really happy that he took out the time hmm. and wished me all the best and uh, and uh, whenever the prime minister talks to any athlete i see that he knows a lot about them hmm. so he he especially mentions their journey and what they have been through so i think uh, it is very motivating for any athlete that the prime minister of the country is praising them for their performance and it is a very special moment for any athlete hmm. and it was definitely a very very overwhelming and special moment for me too hmm. do you look forward to speaking to him whenever you are about to participate and perform at such international and high level games or the sports do you have this thing in the back of your mind yes definitely i have that uh, i know that if i give my best if i win the medal for my country uh i will have the honor to talk to the prime minister and i i look forward to that always and that is very motivating yes all right and prana what is the next thing that you are eyeing right now except 2028 los angeles uh games what is how is the moment right now makes you feel about the next games so now we'll be working uh, for moving forward towards uh you know more intensive training uh, working on um different exercises that could help me better my performance in the coming time and uh, we'll be working on more uh, nutrition and recovery hmm. so uh, we we we've been uh, thinking about what changes could we make now to uplift my performance and uh, give better results at the international level so we we been uh, working and planning those things out and in the coming time you'll see the results for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon